Right, we're back in the shop this morning, it's actually Sunday, we've actually got an audience today, so a bit more pressure than normal. Uh, we've been waiting for one of the girls to lay, thankfully she does have. In between, uh, need to do a bit of cleaning out today, so excuse a little bit of a mess. Yes, uh, the, the room does look a, a partial wear, uh, mm. but obviously the guys haven't been as efficient this week. <laughs> so this one is one of the Super Dwarfs. Uh, we're doing this video just for size relation. Everyone says about how big the actual snakes are. Louie will show you the size of the actual vivarium shortly so you can see what she's been bred in. Uh, it's actually quite uh, maybe a special clutch. Uh, this snake doesn't actually belong to me, it's her friends. She is actually a posset annery albino, which is a snows. We've actually uh, put it to uh, a male motley, but the motley is actually uh, a Fulsham caramel stroke clock purple albino. So hopefully this might actually be a little bit of a special clutch if all the genes match up. But this time will tell. Oh, you want to get in there, Libby? Obviously, we can see a couple of slugs in here, as you can see. This box is probably about 350 by 300 mil. Quite a small box. So she actually looks like she's done us proud with a couple of them anyway. So, Let's see how many we do. He's doing a guess and how many. Anyone? It's quite small odds, I think, on actually getting made. What hopefully, if you're not getting uh, at least tying on one of the genes or breeding back, I don't think they've been maybe been done. I don't know. You know. Oh, are you going to be good? Are you going to be bad? Oh, it's quite a nice clutch, actually, isn't it? Uneventful. As you can see, I don't think I don't know what species she, she is. She's probably seven feet. No, she'd be bigger than that, won't she? What do you lot think? Eight feet. No, she's not in a good mood there at all, is she? Maybe she's back in. Cotton girly. Have to move her out afterwards. And what you find is she'll pace around in the cage and she'll normally be looking for her actual legs. So we'll sort you out in a little while. You see the pile, Louie? Yep. It's actually not a bad uh, <coughs> not a bad little do that for her, is there? Uh, move these out. We actually use uh, paper in the bottom of these. A lot of people do actually use the, the substrates, but we've decided to use the paper. We've not normally have a problem with them. So we'll see. They do actually tear off all right on the paper. And they come. Oh, yeah, they're actually quite new, these. We have actually got the barbecue on this next this next month. We did actually try and aim a couple of clutches to be laid on time for the barbecue, but unfortunately, I've got it wrong. Oh, I did actually try. Uh, we have actually got a clutch about to pip, maybe just before the barbecue, we'll see. We did actually hope it'd wait a little bit longer, but we were looking at the eggs that just started to sink, so I think we're going to go just pray. So, we've actually done really well there, haven't we? I actually thought it was going to be less than that. In case you all actually normally wonder, as you can see, that's me with the nerves because I wasn't too sure. I was normally just saying about these videos before, wondering whether I'm actually going to get a, get a cuddle off one of them when we're doing it. But thankfully, we haven't. Louis smiling, it's holding the camera and not saying anything. I tell you what, I've got more than what we actually thought. What do you think, Lou? Sorry, what's that, 11? Yeah, I think that's uh, a bit of a result, don't you? Mm. Last time we did uh, incubate some of these, and we actually produced a, a twin from one of these. In all honesty, we're not going to do anything with all of this time, because obviously they're definitely not, but so no. So we ended up getting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 2, 4. So actually, that's a good clutch, isn't it? Well pleased with that. It's actually a first breeding, but the female is a little bit older. She's probably about six years old. 
So on the Super Dwarf, so normally people do try to get them a little bit younger. She's been left that extra year and hence produced quite a good clutch. So we'll see anyway. Thank you.